In this video, I'm going to plant four packages of these wildflowers from Fairy Morris. And uh, this is what they look like when they grow up. And so in this video, I'm going to show you from uh, planting to um, at, follow them as they grow. Well, here's where I'm planting them. And to get this area, it was covered with bushes and uh, raspberry bushes and all kinds of stuff. So I cut all that stuff down and then just covered it up with uh, wood chips. And then I let the wood chips set. And I did that all last year. So they've set now for about a year from last spring to this spring. And so the first thing I did was just rake it out. I didn't uh, dig up the dirt too much. I just raked off the wood chips and left the ones that were pretty well composted in the soil there. So it just was a nice soil. And I just kind of raked it out, out flat. And then I took the packages of seeds and just uh, the package said to broadcast them. So I'm just kind of sprinkling, sprinkling them out like this. And I did this with all four packages. And in retrospect, if I did this again, I would put them in rows because it's much easier to keep the grass and uh, things out of the uh, flower bed that you don't want. Because uh, I'm going to dig these up the following spring and plant them in other flower beds. <coughs> right in your flower bed. And I don't have much other place to start seeds besides the best luck I have is just planting them in the ground because I don't have a lot of space at my windows inside to start seeds. After uh, I sprinkled the seeds on the ground, I just raked them over with uh, a half an inch of garden soil. And here they are after they just started growing in, in um, this, I think this is about a couple weeks long. And so I've got a bunch of pictures along the way of them as they're growing. I, I, every week I went out and took another picture. Here's another package of the seeds. And you can see they're just getting taller. And here they're getting pretty far along. I think these broad leaf things here are called calendula. And there's cornflowers and sweet alyssum and all kinds of things in here. So it should be a nice addition to my flower bed out front. And I might start another one out back too. I don't know what that red uh, thing is. It's a nice looking flower though. And there's some corn flowers blooming. There's morning glories blooming in the background. There's a Black-eyed Susan growing right there, and there's quite a few of them in this package. They're pretty far along now. This is uh, August or September in the flower bed. And there's Calendula blooming, and this Black-eyed Susan. And I think this is September here in the flower bed now. Everything's winding up for the year. Our frost here is in uh, the middle of October, so there's only a couple more weeks left from here. The last two weeks of September and the first two weeks of October, actually. So here's this, these uh, four packages of wildflower seeds perennials um, that I bought at uh, Menards actually at the end of the summer I think this experiment come out really good and in the spring it'll be nice to dig up the ones that return and put them in the flower, other flower beds. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. 
and if you can I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to these videos um, and maybe even like them so thank you very much and please subscribe and uh, say that and watch later and I will talk to you later on goodbye